by the AAA. The donation of 100,000 face masks was made by local company Triple L Limited. Chief Executive Officer of Triple L, Collins Lynch, related the strategy employed in obtaining such a large volume of the protective gear. It took us a little while because of the demands in the world um, for masks. Every time, we only could have ordered 10,000 at a time. And it takes us a little longer than we anticipated because we looked at doing this thing from early April. But because of how we were getting the masks, we had to order 10,000, let it stay in Miami for a little while, then reorder because they, they made it abundantly clear they're not selling more than 10,000 at any given one time to a company. So we did it over, over time. Then um, West Indies Shipping collected all the packages and then brought it here. We cleared it. Lynch also expressed his gratitude to the Ministry of Health and Wellness for providing a waiver on customs duties for the masks and to West Indies Shipping for providing a discounted rate for transporting them. Permanent Secretary Benson Emil explained why this donation was such a timely one. We are required not just to service our medical facilities but to service essential health institutions like the police. Um, other ministries and agencies of government with the essential protective equipment in our response to COVID. So your contribution will come, you know, a very long way in that response. It would assist us, you know, tremendously in keeping our people pr protected, you know, as they look to render service, you know, to the general public. In addition to the 100,000 masks provided to the Ministry of Health, Triple L will also make donations to schools in Denry and the Mabuya Valley, as well as the fire and police stations in those communities. From the Ministry of Health and Wellness, I'm Jacques Hinson Compton reporting.